Rabbis spend countless hours transforming synagogues into spiritual homes. This is our career, our job, our calling. We create and we design holy spaces for others to connect with God and each other. And we realized when we spoke a few weeks ago, we couldn't pinpoint the moment. We couldn't pinpoint the story or the exact time in which Sinai Temple captured our hearts. We can't name that moment because for us, Sinai Temple isn't a moment, but Sinai Temple is our home. A home for each one of us. Our home for spiritual connection and soulful transformation. Our home for communal involvement, creating deep, lifelong relationships. Our home for exploration, strengthening our Jewish faith. A home that needs our time. A home that needs our efforts and a home that needs our resources. This year, Sinai Temple experienced the devastating and untimely loss of Jonah Anshul. Jonah was a brilliant, creative, talented young adult, someone who was never afraid to be himself. On his gravestone, his family included the words, Bonne Vishomer Tamid, forever a builder and protector someone who fiercely looked out for his parents and his sister, those he loved and those that needed loving. And he was a builder. Yes, a construction company owner at the age of 16 years old. But he was also a builder. A builder of people's spirits, encouraging curiosity and authenticity. I remember saying at Jonah's funeral, that jo Jonah's story isn't finished. And today, this morning of Yom Kippur, I can assure you, it isn't. His story will continue be to be told here at home, this home, Sinai Temple, not just by me, but by hundreds of thousands of children who will walk through these halls. In honor of Jonah's memory, his parents, John and Abby, and sister Sarah have decided to create Jonah's Play Yard, a newly renovated play yard for our youngest preschoolers at Sinai Akiba Academy's Douglas Family Early Childhood Center. Jonah's legacy will be one in which our children at Sinai Temple will know that others build for them and that Sinai Temple is a home where children can proudly play and learn every single day what it means to be a Jew. Our home. A home where children and students of all abilities will receive a Jewish education. Twelve years ago, one of our members, Peter Diamond, he called Rabbi Guzik and said, if my two older children have educational requirements to become a bar and bat mitzvah, what about my youngest son? My youngest son who is on the autism spectrum and has different educational challenges. So Rabbi Guzik met with many of you, and the answer was immediate. It was yes. Our doors are open to any Jewish child, no matter their learning difference or learning style. What you may not know is that this is one of the reasons why both of us, Rabbi Guzik and I, went into the rabbinate, and one of the reasons why we married each other. My brother Ayal of blessed memory was a quadriplegic for 32 of his 36 years as a result of a stroke at the age of four. His entire life, he had accessibility challenges. And Rabbi Guzik's mother, a retired resource specialist for students with learning disabilities, all four of Rabbi Guzik and her siblings spent their summers as companions to their mother's students, ensuring that there is accessibility in Jewish spaces is a passion that we both share and we knew would be a driving force for our rabbinate. Fast forward to last year. After 11 years of a thriving Beit Bracha, a house of blessing, a religious school for our special needs, children from kindergarten through seventh grade, children with all different types of needs and learning differences, 
This year we launched Beit Bracha 2.0, a fully mainstream Jewish education and social program for Sinai Temple members, eighth grade through 12th grade and beyond. Sinai Temple is a home where every Jew, no matter their ability, deserves to learn, deserves to explore, to grow, and to thrive. And this past Wednesday afternoon, with our new Fight Family Sinai Live, over 500 of you, 500 Sinai Temple members joined us at Tashlich on the beach. Imagine 500 people dressed in white, grandparents with grandchildren, people of all ages choosing to celebrate the new year and declaring as one that we are stepping into 5784, not as disparate individuals, but as one Sinai Temple community. Santa Monica Beach did not know what was coming. <laughs> we stood at the water's edge and we sang the Shehechianu with fervor and faith. We all know here, we don't know what the future will bring. We have certainly experienced that over the past few years. But what we do know is whatever comes our way, it is Sinai Temple that grounds us. It's Sinai Temple that holds us. It's Sinai Temple that enables us to envision a Jewish tomorrow. Sinai Temple isn't a moment. Sinai Temple is our home. A home that was lovingly and intentionally created and shaped by the rabbis and leaders that came before us. A home that needs every single one of us here to contribute and to build. And a home that requires upkeep and repairs. As some of you may know, or the secret's out now, that wall in between the Ziegler Hall and the sanctuary would not raise or lower for a couple of months. But in addition to doing the wonderful things we do in this place, we have to ensure that we maintain this place to also do them well. And so this morning of Yom Kippur, we are asking you to give and to give generously. To honor Jonah's legacy in the expansion of our Douglas Family Early Childhood Center. And to strengthen educational programs like Beit Bracha and Beit Bracha 2.0. To enhance our micro communities of our Atid young professionals, our family minion, our high society, our men's club, and our sisterhood to build from our successful Ted and Hetty Orden and family Friday Night Live. To invest in our Sinai Temple Mental Health Center, our Sinai Temple Religious School, our Israel Center, our teen and youth programming, to give generously so that our Kehilat Chesed, our community of kindness, has the resources it needs to reach out to every single member in the synagogue in times of struggle and in times of celebration. We need you to give and contribute because this too is your home. A home to plant roots, to grow as committed Jews and lovers of Israel and understand that we each have a responsibility to ensure that this home exists for a Sinai temple of future generations. So please, build with us. We thank you for your generosity, for those who have already given, and to those that will. Each of you, all of you, together, we open the doors of Sinai Temple. May the doors of Sinai Temple be wide enough to receive all who hunger for Jewish growth. May the doors of Sinai Temple be wide enough to receive all who are looking for community. May the doors of Sinai Temple be wide enough to provide a window to our Jewish past. And may the doors of Sinai Temple be wide enough to provide a window to our Jewish future. And let, and let us, us say, say Amen. Amen. We will now ask 